Good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Do not forget, you are the backbone of all this. 100% viewer funded. I appreciate you guys. But what I need you to do is reach up inside of your generosity to the elbow. Dig around. Grab something. Pull it out and send it to me. Link will be in the description, in the description box. And I thank you. Now, things are pretty crazy, right? Uh, homelessness, inflation, the economy, our standings in the world, money, just siphoning, hemorrhaging billions of dollars to Ukraine. But don't worry about that. Everything is more expensive than it was two years ago, but don't worry about that. They're trying to get their long, bony, sharp fingers on the hands of your children and corrupt and pervert them. But don't worry about that shit. Okay, we're $2 trillion a year more in debt, over $30 trillion in debt right now. But don't worry about it because Sloppy Joe and Janet Yellen our treasury secretary, AKA that little fucking troll with a tight white knuckle grip on the bag of gold known as our money. She says, don't worry about your cash. I'll keep a good eye on it. I'll manage it for you. We can pay for Ukraine to fight over there. And we can pay for Israel to fight over there. Trust me when I tell you, we have the cash. She says, don't worry. We can pay for both. Sloppy Joe backed her up. That's what you don't want. When you're in the shit and you look behind you and, hey, hey, this isn't the mall. Is your backup? You're in trouble. He said the same thing, and I will put a link in the description box because if you haven't had that single drop of blood come from your nose from being so angry, this will give it to you. Technically, I'm giving you a gift, so you're welcome. I'm going to give you that drop of anger blood. And I promise, if you haven't had it yet, this is going to give it to you. He was on 60 Minutes, classic Sloppy Joe, creating words as he goes along. Maybe he's a savant. Maybe he's a genius. Maybe we're too dumb to see that. Maybe he's more advanced. He's on another level. He was on 60 Minutes and the dude asked him, hey, we got Ukraine over here and Israel over there. Do you think that America can handle this? He said, and I quote, the next words to come out of my mouth are the same words that came out of the resident of 1600 Pennsylvania's mouth. It's the United States of America, for God's sake. No, I didn't misspeak. He did. He said it's the United States of America. Do you live in the United States of America? Or do you live in the United States of America? That's where I live. I don't know where you live. I don't know where you're watching this from. Maybe you're watching this from a distant mystical land called the United States of America. He said it's the United States of America, for God's sakes. We can handle Ukraine. We can handle Israel and still meet our defense needs. What are you guys worried about? The border's secure. How many of them need to tell us that before we believe it? You guys, they're using surveillance. Oh, shit. Everybody knows that when an illegal is crossing the border and they look up and see a drone, they turn around and go back home. When they're going over a gate or under a gate or through a gate, a fence, and they see a camera on the top of it, they, oh, a camera? 
and they turn around and beat feet back home. Those Chevrolet legs are moving. That's a camera, guys, not a drone. Of course, you idiot. And the way he laughed, he was so smug about it. <laughs> We're the United States of America. We can handle anything. Paying for two wars on two different fronts? There's only two? What about another war we can start? And you know, Israel had some unrest before this. Israel has some real problems with the policies of their government. And there was a huge protest planned against Netanyahu, their prime minister. And now this kicks off. Man, some might say that's a conspiracy, but this is post sweet and sour sniffles and lockdown. So take that conspiracy theory, that tinfoil hat and toss it. You think they wouldn't do this shit? But don't concern yourself with that. All these problems we have here that we could use tax dollars for, closing the border, building a wall on the border, paying for plane and train tickets to send these fuckers back home, and you're going to be sending money over to Israel and Ukraine, and we are not supposed to worry. Why? Why? Sloppy Joe is a great leader. His head is filled with Quaker oats. He's had three aneurysms and an embolism. Believe him. He's confused about which side of the stage to exit. He can't tackle a short set of stairs. And the English language don't even get me started on that. But don't worry. He says we can do it. Well, who's that? Schmeagle? From Lord of the Rings, Schmeagel says we have the gold coin to pay for both. So don't trip. I'll see you in the comment section. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize the link tree link. Get your ass over to JerichoGreen.net. Hit the Teespring link to get some merch. I am Jericho Green. <laughs> Man, I'm out.